She tells us to do and be what she tells us to be. Cause I've got a crown, so I'll bow down. Cause, Cause here comes Queen Toot Toot. Cause, Cause here comes Queen Toot Toot. <laughs> <laughs> hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> TikTok house. Toot! Toot! And Tizzy! And Tizzy! And Tog! And Tog! Tog, Toot, and Tizzy Mouse. The three little mice in the TikTok house, all coming out to play. Hooray! Today, Tog. We're going to play Think of a Word. I'm thinking of a word that begins with a W sound. Water begins with a W sound. And window begins with a W sound. That's right, but it's neither of those. The word I'm thinking of is wash. And where do you put the wash when you want to wash it? In, in the, the washing, washing machine. machine. Here we go. There. Look, Toot. They're going around and around. Watching the washing machine go around, the machine goes round and round. Watching the washing machine go around, the machine goes round and round. It goes rumble, tumble, rumble, tumble, swish, swish, stop. It goes wee, 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 faster than a spinning top. Watching the washing machine go round, the machine goes round and round. Look! Look! Watching the washing machine go round, it's loads and loads of fun. Watching the washing machine go round, all the clothes are done. <laughs> now, one striped one, one red one. Oh, oh no. no! Here, Here we, we go, go again! again. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> Guess what I'm thinking of? Everybody has them, and if you're lucky, they'll be really sweet. Elephants. Oh, dude, it can't be elephants. Not everybody has an elephant, do they? It'd be great if they did, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, these things happen when you're asleep. And they begin with a duh sound. Dreams. But what have dreams got to do with sweets? Because the best dreams are sweet dreams, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One day, Toot slept a little and dreamed that she'd gone on a trip. She found herself aboard a ship, and the sea was all around. She was a pirate, bold and true. She was the captain of a crew, and it was only Captain Toot who knew where treasure could be found. I'll tell you where the treasure be, said Captain Toot. Just Follow me. But then a strong wind blew and blew poor Toot up into the air. Oh no! Said Toot. This isn't fair. This wind might blow me anywhere. Now what am I to do? Toot cried. It blew Toot far. It blew Toot wide across the seven seas. But just then, Toot woke up and found that she was back home safe and sound curled up snugly on the ground, and she was very pleased. Oh, wow, what a great dream. I can't wait to tell Tizzy and Tog. Tizzy, Tog. Tizzy, Tog. Oh, now they're asleep. Only oh, kidding. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six eyes. Three hippos. And one bird. Okay, guess what I'm thinking of. It flies through the air and it begins with a p sound. Pigeon? No, Toot. But here's another clue. Sometimes people ride on them when they go on vacation. A plane! A plane begins with a puh sound. That's right, Tizzy. And a plane flies through the air. Just like a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Whee! Fly, 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 flying high in the sky. Fly, 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 see the clouds passing by. High, 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 see how high we can go when the ground is far below. We can see the cars like tiny dots. We can see the trees are just green spots. When you're in a plane, you see lots and lots. The higher that you go, and so we'll fly, 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 flying high in the sky. Fly, 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 see the clouds passing by. High, 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 see how high we can go when the ground is far below. This is Captain Tog speaking. We will be landing in approximately five seconds. Five, Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. We're oh. home! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it now? Once upon a time. It's, it's once, once upon, upon a time time! time. <laughs> <laughs> The alarm clock rang in Gemma Squirrel's house. ding a ling a ling Gemma yawned and stretched, and then she remembered it was her birthday. She jumped out of bed and ran down the stairs. There was nothing on the doormat, no birthday cards or presents, but she wasn't disappointed. It was still early. Ron the mail rabbit hadn't delivered the mail yet. 
I need to do something, Gemma thought, to make the time pass quickly. So, since it was a beautiful sunny morning, Gemma thought she would go for a run. I love running, Gemma thought to herself, and she put on her battered old shoes, which she had for a very long time, and then she was ready. Soon she was running off along the road at a steady trot. She hadn't run very far when up ahead she saw the bright red van that Ron the male rabbit drove. I wonder if he has anything for me, thought Gemma excitedly, and she quickly ran towards the van. But just as she reached it, the van's engine started up, and the male rabbit drove away. But there was a large package wrapped in brown paper lying on the ground right where the van had been standing. Oh no, Gemma Squirrel said. Ron must have dropped this. And she picked up the package, tucked it under her arm, and ran after the male rabbit's van as quickly as she could. Up the road, the van was waiting at a traffic light. But just as Gemma caught up with it, the light changed, the van turned left, and sped away. I'll catch it, said Gemma as she ran along, when it stops to make a delivery. And so she kept on running and running and running. At last, far in the distance, she saw the van pull aside and Ron the male rabbit got out and disappeared up somebody's driveway. Now I've got him, thought Gemma, and she ran as fast as she could, her tail flying behind her. But she only got halfway there when Ron came out again. Hey, stop, wait a minute, Gemma shouted. You dropped this. But Ron Rabbit didn't hear. He just got back into his van and drove off. Time for a shortcut, Gemma said, and she dashed across a field. You're in a hurry, said a cow, as Gemma squeezed under the gate. Can't stop to talk, said Gemma quickly, and she hopped across the field and climbed the fence on the other side. And now, sure enough, she saw Ron's van turn onto the road ahead and drive in her direction. As the van got closer, Gemma waved. Ron Rabbit grinned and waved back and then kept on driving. Oh, no! Gemma couldn't believe it. She tucked the package tightly under her arm and kept following along. But when she turned the corner this time, there was no sign of the van, only Badger's milk truck. Morning, Gemma, said the milk badger. You're up bright and early. Morning, Badger, said Gemma. Hey, which way did the mail van go? Second corner on the left, said the milk badger. But as she turned the second corner on the left, Gemma stopped in her tracks. I know this place, she said. This is where I live. And sure enough, there was the big red mail van parked right outside her house. Ron was looking in the back of his van. Good morning, Gemma, said Ron. I've got something for you. Hmm, what did I do with it? And I've got something for you, too, gasped Gemma as she handed him the package. Look, you dropped it up the road. But this is what I was looking for, said Ron. It's for you. Gemma looked at the package, and sure enough, right there on the front was her own name and address. And when the little squirrel opened up the package, she found a present from her Auntie Mavis. And it was just what she needed, a brand new pair of running shoes. Happy birthday, Gemma. <laughs> What time is it now? It's counting time. time! What's the highest we can count? Uh, one, two, three, uh, four. Lots! <laughs> there. <laughs> no, Toot. I mean, what's the highest thing we can count? I don't know, Toot. The highest thing we can count are the stars. Oh, oh. yeah, the stars. Count, Count the, the stars. stars. How many can you see? Count the stars and maybe get to ten. But when you lose your place, 
You have to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty-two. Oh, you have to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five. Oh, toot. You have to start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh. Now I'm feeling sleepy. It must be all the counting. first. Me, me, me! This is a word I always say when I'm having fun. Oh, well, that should be easy enough. Mm, how about great? Nope. Hooray! No. Give us a clue, Toot. It begins with a y sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Help me lift the ruler, Tizzy. Okay. <sighs> and put it over here. There! Now what, now do, what we do we do? Now I get on this end, like this. Mm, yes. yes. And then you jump on the other end. Like, like this! this. Yahoo! Toot's flying! <laughs> Whoa! Now look, she's coming back down! Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! Oh, good game! <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> Big fish, bigger fish, biggest fish, smaller fish, smallest fish. What is big, blue, and full of boats? And it begins with a s sound. Hmm, big? Blue and full of boats. That's a hard one. Now let me see. That's it! <laughs> what? That's the answer. The sea! <laughs> oh, oh, toot! toot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a sailor went to sea, to sea, to sea What he could see, could see But all that he could see, could see Was the deep blue sea A whale came up to see him once And splashed him with his tail A seagull came and flew around And landed on the rail And down, down below the fishes swam As happy as could be But the sailor didn't see them Cause he only saw the sea Oh, a sailor went to sea, to sea, to sea What he could see, could see But all that he could see, could see Was the deep blue sea
A whale came up to see him once and splashed him with his tail. A seagull came and flew around and landed on the rail. And down below the fishes swam as happy as could be. But the sailor didn't see them because he only saw the sea. Oh, a sailor went to see, to see, to see what he could see, could see, but all that he could see, could see. for today. Goodbye, Tog. Bye bye. Goodbye, Tizzy. Bye bye. Goodbye, Toot. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. If I wrote a letter to myself, I wonder what I'd say. I'd say, Dear Tizzy, how are you today? Would you like to come and play with me on this sunny day? If I wrote a letter to myself, that is what I'd say. Put it in an envelope, envelope stamp it with a stamp. Pop it in a mailbox, wait and see. And in a day or two, there on the mat, a letter just for me. If I wrote a letter to myself, what would I write down? Um, dear Tog, you're a very nice mouse. We like to have you around. <laughs> Won't you come and have some tea with me when you're next in town? If I wrote a letter to myself, that's what I'd write down. Put it in an envelope, stamp it with a stamp, pop it in the mailbox, wait and see. And in a day or two, there upon the mat, a letter just for me. Toot, if you wrote a letter to yourself, what would you say? Um, why would I do that? It's just a game. But I don't want to write a letter to myself. Okay, write a letter to Tizzy. But Tizzy is here. I know, so am I. Well, I won't write to either of you then. If I wrote a letter, I would write it to Crazy Crayon. Okay, okay do, do it. it. Yeah, I'd write Dear Crazy Crayon. How are you today? Won't you draw an elephant for me? Do it right away. Put, Put it in an envelope, stamp it with a stamp. Pop it in the mailbox, wait and see. And in no time at all, Crazy Crayon would read this letter from me. Look. See? Crazy Crayon got my letter and drew an Ellie for me. Yippee!